So Indian Wells has come out. We've got the men's draw for Indian Wells. And it's kind of interesting. Of course, we don't have some of the big names playing. We'll go through withdrawals in a second. But there are some potential second, third round matchups that are very, very interesting and very tough for some of the big names. But let's go through the withdrawal list because there are some massive names that are not playing this event. So a long withdrawal list for Indian Wells. You can see there we've got Bonzi. He's pulled out. Brooksby also pulled out. Chilich. Djokovic, of course, didn't get approved to come into the country. So he's out. Edmonds also out. Goffin, Korda, Quan, Kyrgios all out. Mute, Nadal, of course, out with injury. And Opelka is also out. So there's so many players that are out with injury or out you know, because of Djokovic uh, not being able to get into the country. Some huge, huge names out of this draw. But let's go to the top section of the draw because there are some big names that are playing and it really opens up the uh, the entire draw. All right, here it is, the top section of the draw. We've got 32 seeds in this one and the top 32 seeds get a buy in the first round. So everybody gets a buy in the first round if they're seeded. Alcrez, the number one seed into the second round. He'll take on either a qualifier or the wildcard Holt in the second round. Then you got Montero taking on Pella. Winner of that match takes on the number 31 seed, Grigspor, in the second round. Grigspor versus versus Alcaraz, third round. Very fun. Grigsbaugh's in form. Uh, Evans, 24th seed. He's going to either take on a, a qualifier or Draper in the second round. An all battle uh, battle of the Brits in that second round, potentially. Then you've got Echeverry taking on Murray. Very fun match. Winner of that takes on Karina Busta, the 15th seed. So that section's interesting because you've got Murray, obviously really dangerous uh, as an unseated player. Nobody wants to play Murray ever. Uh, Alcaraz, Grigsbaugh, fun third round. Two informed players. I mean, those they're the three names that I think get out of this section. One of those names, Karina Buster also underrated. I don't think anyone, uh, you know, shouldn't maybe un not count him out because he can he can go on a run every now and again. Then we've got Hercash, number nine seed, taking on a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualies going at it. Uh, then you've got Mori versus Hellas, winner of that plays Paul, the 17th seed, who's coming off the Acapulco final last week. So watch out for that. Potentially Paul Hercash, third round, very fun. Then you've got Serendolo, the number 27 seed. He'll take on either Barrera or Sock in the second round. Then you've got Martinez versus uh, Huzla, winner of that takes on the eighth seed, uh, Ogier Eliasim. So FAA, fourth round onwards is tough, but he would probably like his chances of getting to the fourth round. Serendolo, he should beat him on hard courts, you know, if he gets that far. Uh, Paul Hercatch is awesome. Winner plays FAA. And of course, this section of the draw will take on Alcaraz or Grigspor or uh, or Murray, uh, if, you know, if you want to go a little bit more out there, in the quarterfinals. So this section's a little bit wide open. It could be one of the big names. It could be one of the uh, lower seeds. It could be someone unseated. So we'll keep an eye on this section. But uh, you got to like Alcaraz and FAA based on 2023 form. All right, next section of the draw now, you've got Fritz, number four seed. He gets by in the first round. He'll take in on either Shelton or Fanini. Very fun first round. Uh, second round, potentially against Shelton. Of course, Shelton's had a good year playing at this round. Open very, very strong there. Uh, that could be fun for the defending champion to have uh, have to play against uh, someone you know, in his from his same country, it's gonna be interesting. Then you've got Ema versus Qualifier taking on uh, the winner takes on the number 30th seed Baez. Charis, number 18 seed, he awaits the winner of Molchan or Ramos Vinoles in the second round. Then you got Wolf versus Fucevic, winner of that plays the Acapulco champion Dimonor, the number 16 seed. Interesting section, you know, Fritz, Charis, Dimonor, probably the big guns that you would expect. But you know, Shelton, uh, you know, Wolf could do something special. Ema's played well lately, so that's an interesting section. You think Fritz likes his chances? Maybe Fritz Charis fourth round. I mean, Dimonor is coming off a great. Great win over in Acapulco, taking out Runa, taking out, you know, Paul. That's interesting, an interesting section. Next part of the draw, you've got Sinner, the number 11 seed. He'll take on either a qualifier or Gasquet in the second round. Uh, then you've got Team taking on Manorino. Winner of that takes on either, uh, takes on Musetti, the number 19 seed in the second round. 26 seed, Kecmenovic. He'll take on either Vavrinka or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got McDonald versus Kranovic. Winner of that plays the number 7 seed, Runa, in the second round. This section's interesting because Sinner and Runa stand out, but you've got to watch out for Team Gasquet, Vavrinka, McDonald. Those unseated players are very scary. McDonald obviously beat Rafa this year. Um, Team is a former champion. Vavrinka is a former Grand Slam champion. And Gasquet is, you know, he he has played well this year, Gasquet, at times. You know, he's had some tough draws, but he's also put up some good fights. Uh, but you would think that Sinner versus Runa would be the fourth round. And of course, this section of the draw will take on either uh, Chorich or Fritz or Dimonor, potentially, in the in the quarterfinals. And then, of course, Elkrez in the semis, potentially. So, look, this section of the draw, you, you know, it wouldn't be a surprise if you saw Chorich versus Runa or Fritz versus is Sinner, right? But again, maybe maybe we'll throw off some surprises. Let's go to the bottom half of the draw now, and this is where things are starting to heat up. So we've got Medvedev, the number five seed, buying the first round. He'll take on either Isna or Nakashima in the second round. Isna versus Medvedev second round, that's fun. Uh, 
Avashka takes on Safiulin. Winner of that play, uh, plays the number 28 seed Van Zanschel in the second round. Then you got the 22nd seed Batista Agu taking on either Rusevoria Lestian in the second round. Then you got Kashin versus Basilashvili. Winner of that plays the number 12 seed Zverev in the second round. Now, Zverev Medvedev fourth round's fun, but of course Zverev isn't the same guy he was. Even if he played well in Dubai, he still isn't quite there yet, Zverev. But Batista Agu versus Medvedev fourth round, that sucks for Medvedev. I don't think that's a very good round. That's, that's not a good matchup on these, these kind of courts where they're a little bit slower. Uh, of course, also, is the second round is never fun uh, for Medvedev, potentially. So, look, you'd think there's only a handful of names I think can make it through. Basilech really also made the final here a couple years ago. Maybe him worth him watching out for as well. But, uh, yeah, Medvedev, you know, manageable draw, but not not easy. Then you've got Hashinov, the 13th seed. He'll take on either Jera or Otter in the second round. Uh, Wu versus Munar. Winner of that takes on either for, uh, takes on Fakina in the second round, the 23rd seed. Then you've got the 29th seed, Nishioka. He takes on either Gallon or a qualifier in the second round. Round. Then you got Schwartzman Correa, winner of that plays the number three seed Casper Ruud. Now this section is the is the most open section. Hashinov was in form, and then last week he lost first round. Ruud, he's been all over the place. Nishioka, who knows? Fakina, he can be solid, but he also can be random. So that's I feel like this section of the draw where we might get someone unexpected. Wu's been in good form, and uh, uh, Schwartzman is a is a great player, but not lately. Hasn't been great lately. Um, so yeah, so this section, I mean, maybe Hashinov, and of course this section takes on uh, the Mev. Medvedev section, so Medvedev Rude, if we're going off seeds, uh, Medvedev Hashinov, be going off uh, maybe 2022 form, oh, sorry, 2023 form, but again, this could be, this could be random, this section might be the, uh, the random section, maybe Fakina comes through, I don't know. All right, now let's get to the bottom section, because this part of the draw is where things get really crazy. Rublev, the number six seed, gets a buy in the first round, he'll take on either Lehechka or Rindanish in the second round. lehechka has been in great form all year, Rublev, Lehechka, that's insane. Then you've got Morales versus Umber, winner of that takes on Shapovalov. Shapo can turn it on. Very tough for Rublev. Shapo, Rublev, third round potentially. Then you've got Berrettini. He'll take on either a qualifier or Bayana in the second round. Then you've got Bublik taking on a qualifier. Winner of that takes on the number 10 seed. Um, Nori in the second round. Nori, Berrettini, Rublev, Shapo. Winners play each other. If that's, if Lehechka uh, doesn't do something crazy. So that section is, that part of the draw is in, insane. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if anybody gets out of that section. Umber can even turn it on at times. You know, Bublik. You know, so... That section is very, very open for me. Rublev, nightmare, nightmare section. I mean, Berrettini in the th fourth round sucks for him, uh, for Rublev. Uh, Chapeau, second round sucks. Bottom section of the draw, you've got Tiafo. He'll take on either Giron or, uh, I can't even read that name. Is it Kov Kovage Kovach Vek? Kovavech? Kovavech? Comment down below if I got that right. And then you've got Kubler taking on Sinego, winner of that plays Dimitrov. So Dimitrov versus Tiafo, potentially in the third round. That's a fun matchup. Tiafo loves playing at home in America. He'll have a lot of fun playing against Dimi. Then you've got Cressy taking on a qualifier in the second round, because there's two qualies going at it. And then you also got, uh, so he will await the winner of a quali. Thompson and takes on Monfils, winner plays City Pass, the second seed. Monfils City Pass is not fun. That's about as fun as Lehechka versus Rublev if you're Rublev or City Pass. It, it's a nightmare. Uh, Cressy in the third round. Cressy's been good in good form too lately. Uh, took out Runa a few weeks ago. City Pass is going to have a nightmare against him. Tiafo with the crowd. Dimitrov, City Pass. I mean, look, this section, the whole section, including the Rublev section, this whole half of the draw, quarter of the draw is a nightmare. Anyone could come out of it. Anybody. Um, and then potentially, you know, City Pass versus Rublev if we want to go off the uh, off the big names, but I don't know if we're going to get that. It could be Berrettini versus Tiafo. It could be Shapo versus Dimitrov. It could be uh, Lehechka taking on Monfils. You know, it could be anyone. It, 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 I feel like this is the craziest section um, and the hardest section by a long shot. But let me know down in the comments below. Let me know in the chat who's going to win the men's draw. I don't think it's straightforward. I mean, Medvedev's been in form, but he's never played well here. Sitsipas is probably liking his chances before the draw, but now the draw comes out. It's not fun. Rublev's been in good form, but he has a tough draw as well. I mean, the guys who have been playing well, either that haven't played well here. I mean, Fritz, maybe Fritz or Alcaraz. I think I think Fritz is probably a good pick because he has a decent draw and he's also made the semifinals or, or won it last year. So I think maybe Fritz. Alcaraz, if he's healthy, I mean, he's always going to be a threat at every event, but this is going to be a very interesting draw. I think I wouldn't be surprised if India Moles throws up a random champion again this year, but uh, let me know. Who do you think is going to win it?